Okay, what we're doing right now is we are putting, we're sealing up pieces of plastic against the hull. This way, when we'll know when the hull is dried out because when it's still wet, and it may seem dry out here, but it isn't because it's been saturated. Uh, while it's wet, condensation will form under the plastic. And when uh, condensation doesn't form under the plastic anymore, then we know the hull's dried out. So let me finish this up. We've done a few others. Let's go ahead and seal this up. Now we put them on several spots in the boat. You may see them because we want to get a good idea when all of this is dried out. Okay, well that takes care of that, but now you may notice that even though this has been scraped, we still got barnacles. We got barnacles here in the uh, AF portion, which is the back end on both sides. This is where the straps were when the boat lift lifted it out of the water. So the people there couldn't scrape off the barnacles. So you know what that means? I gotta get a scraper. Okay, now we're gonna have to take care of these barnacles around the boat, but with any job, you gotta make sure you got all the tools necessary. Now this is a broom, it's used to sweep up the mess because we want to be good neighbors here while we're storing it. We got the scraper, scrape off the barnacles, or you can use that spatula type. But these are the important ones. Safety goggles, protect your eyes, and gloves, because barnacles are sharp. So I'm gonna put these on and we got some nasty work to do, I suppose. Let's see. Get started. Okay, I pretty much got one area done. I also used a chisel to help. I also used a chisel to help out. You gotta be very careful with these. Now I got four main areas to do. I did one. And I want to come down here and look at this. Okay, here's the other area where the other strap was. See this mess? Now a regular scraper ain't gonna be no good there. I'm going to use a cordless drill with a wire brush attachment to clean all of that off. And unfortunately, being uh, the pirate that I am, I forgot and left the uh, rechargeable battery packs at home, so we're going to have to go back and get those. Also, with this full keel, it has a drop board, which is impacted up here inside a slot. Now, when I was looking in there, it brought up another good point, and that is, if you take on a project like this, there is going to be a certain amount of ew factor, right? So, I meant fiberglass is ew, unless you like it. Uh, barnacles are ew. And I wanna show you one other thing that's ew. Go ahead, take the camera under here and show them what this looks like that I have to, yeah, ew, got a lot of work to do on that. Gonna let it dry out some more. Okay, I'm just about done for today, but uh, you're gonna get several days worth of uh, information in each episode. So you're gonna see me again in a few moments. But uh, one thing I'm gonna remember tomorrow is to bring the batteries for the drill. So I gotta go and do that prop back there in that whole area. And also, I'm gonna be cleaning out some of the junk that's inside the boat. So, if you wait a day, or in your case, wait a few minutes, you might get a, you might get a peek at what's inside. I'll warn you, it was built in the 1960s. Its design layout is something to be desired. And in the end, we're going to rip it out and do a whole brand new custom interior for this baby. Now, she's kind of a little bit worse for the wear, 
but uh, she's going to have another life. Okay, well, that's it for today. We're going to get back to you here on day two. And for the slightly curious, this is my daughter who is at my camera person, so you may not see her very much there, next to her boyfriend, John, who I'm going to work to death. Back to the road trip. Welcome again to A Pirate in His Boat. This is week two. Week one started out a little slow. We also did some work while uh, my camera person was uh, busy celebrating her boyfriend's uh, birthday. This is John, my uh, daughter's boyfriend. He's going to be helping me today. And we're going to start off with something a little bit new. It's a road trip. And for the road trip, we're going to use my wife's chariot here, better known as the gold roller skate. Uh, when you do a project like this, quite often you have to go and buy parts and equipment, and that's what we're going to be doing today. So, with uh, further ado, we're going to get going. Yep. Okay, right now we're on our way to the bank because I need to pull out some money to pay for the uh, parts order that we're going to do. We're also going to stop and refill the sodas, keep the crew happy, and uh, we're going to try to get some lunch in sometime also. We're not going to be doing a lot of grunt work on the boat, however we will go over and uh, cover everything that we've done since the last filming. When you do a project like this, you're going to end up having to get a lot of parts, often from very different places. Uh, we're going to be going to one of my favorite marine stores to order a lot of the electronics that we have left to order. What I already have on order and should be receiving is the GPS global positioning system. It's a small one, but it's very nice because you can uh, go ahead and add uh, maps to it. We're going to be also getting a uh, radar unit, a uh, marine radio, a uh, depth sounder, a fish finder, and probably a couple, oh, a weather station. We're going to get a couple items. So uh, we're on the way and I'll be back on here as soon as we can get through this traffic light. Well, now that I've got all the funding we need to buy all of that navigational gear, we got two very important things that we have to do now. One, get some gas for the car, and two, feed the crew before I have a mutiny. All right, now that we're done and we stopped at IHOP and uh, fed the hungry crew, we're off to go and spend uh, money over at the green shop for our electronics gear. So let's get in the gold roller well, skate and get going. Here. We're at Boaters World Marine Center. We're going to go in and go ahead and make that purchase of all those. Uh, piece of gear we need so well follow us on in Yeah, I'm not going to be on Daniel. Oh, okay, Daniel. Okay, Daniel will help us out. We're going to be Daniel. buying our equipment. As you can see, they have also a lot of fishing gear and other stuff, but we're going to be interested in boat stuff. Daniel, you ready? Uh, my name is Paul. We're going to make a pretty big uh, order today. Yeah, some of it you're gonna have to back order, some you may have in stock. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah, let's go for it. <laughs> okay, well first stop is gonna be over here on the front. Alright, I do have some of the order numbers. Well this is expensive. Ow. Okay, we've gotten part of the stuff that we ordered. Basically the radio stuff and some of the depth finders and the rest will be arriving on Wednesday. So we'll be back here on Wednesday to pick up the radar and such. Well now that we got all this stuff, time to head back to the boat. Get you over there. 